Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. So I'm taking a note out of that company Live View Technologies Playbook. On their website, it says they make their cameras really large and encompassing because they believe that people behave differently when under surveillance. And they make a point. I believe that city councils behave better when under surveillance, and I want to start doing a little bit of this. So when it comes to right to repair legislation, there are these bills that pop up in a bunch of different states, and the way that you can keep track of them is using a website called Legiscan. There's a lot of interesting integrations with Legiscan, so I can see when a bill pops up that's been proposed on a particular item. So I could say like right to repair, or repair, or digital repair, Bleh, Texas driving, but Jesus Christ, sorry, somebody just... They, they don't understand the concept of not changing into a lane when I'm in it. But, oh my god, anyway, <laughs> fucking asshole. But, uh, it's, it's not road rage, it's road humor driving here. You can never get angry, you just laugh at it. Anyway, the, what I wanted to do is I wanted to come up with something similar, and it's going to be in stages. So the first problem that I have is I can't find any sort of resource like Legiscan, but that keeps track of city council agenda items. So let's say a live view surveillance contract was going to be showing up in a particular area, or they want to install flock AI surveillance cameras in a particular area. I want to be able to see that and have it flagged instantly, like make a Discord or a Zula bot, or have it show up or ping somebody or email me every time that shows up. Then a human would check it. The human looks and says, is this correct or did you get something wrong because your scraper is wrong or a wrong keyword? And if it's correct, it then goes onto a website. Once it gets onto that website, then uh, it would be entered with a time and a location. Now this website that I'm envisioning would allow people to sign up. There's no newsletters or spam or anything like that. But once the human confirms, like in zip code 11216, we, there's gonna be a city council hearing on this day to discuss the installation of flock cameras. You would then get an email address within a certain number of miles of your zip code. So if you're in 11216, you can say, alert me anytime something within 100, 200, 500, or 10 miles of my zip code is discussing the installation of a flock camera system so that they can look into it, get a notification, and show up. Because most people don't even know when this type of stuff is happening. So there's a couple of different layers to this that need to be done. The first is, a resource that actually keeps track of what's going on in different city council uh, in all the this is like over 18,000 cities across the US it's a lot to keep track of and they don't have any sort of standardized method of publishing their their city council agenda items there are some towns that just last year got their city council to agree to publish the meeting agenda online rather than doing it just like handwritten or, or a pamphlet that gets given out. So that's that's difficult. So there are, I'm looking for platforms that do that. After getting a platform that does that, secondly, we would need somebody who is able to create the backend infrastructure for a really basic ass website that essentially allows somebody to add something to a calendar with a zip code that says in this area. So like this is the title and this is the area. Third is a membership sign up section where anybody who is, um, anybody who's so wants to be alerted to this can be alerted anytime there is something within uh, X number of miles of their zip code. So some people are only gonna be interested in their city, and there are other people that may be interested even way far outside their city. Some people may be willing to travel 100 miles just to show up and be a uh, boot on the ground or uh, you know, a present body that's encouraging people who are showing up to talk and testify and, and so on and so forth. So that we could set that. Uh, the hardest part of this is gonna be finding something that does that, the Legiscan-like aspect. So I found something called Curate Solutions. I haven't heard back from them. I gave them a call and an email. We'll see if I, if they actually hear something from them. I, I was first thing, I had a question, and I know I'm doing this wrong. What I'm supposed to do, what, I'm, what you're supposed to do on the internet is you're supposed to do something wrong and then wait for people to correct you. If I ask the question, hey, what are some things out there similar to Curate Solutions, I'm gonna get a lot of well, Lewis, I don't know why you're doing, why don't you just make a scraper? It's like, because I'm not a programmer all the time. Why don't you just ask people in that community? It's like, because it's 18,000 cities. Why don't you make a list of everybody in every city? Because that's too much fucking work. Why don't you, like, well, why don't you focus on becoming a dentist instead of getting rid of flock? And it's like, ah! I can just choke you. But you know, I'm not supposed to do it. You'll, you'll see, like, half of the answers that I get to this are going to be like, why don't you just become a dentist? You can't ask a question on the internet. You never, what you have to do is you have to do it wrong and then wait for people to call you an idiot and correct you. It's foolproof, it works. I do it on Linux forums all the time. If there's a problem that I'm having with, with code or with a script, I'll usually uh, talk to somebody else who's trying to do something similar. I'll be really confident, I'll show my solution that doesn't work and I'll wait for somebody to say, Lewis, you're a fucking idiot. Here's how you actually do it. It works every time. 
I don't, but I'm just trying to kind of get ahead of that here, and hopefully there'll be some people with some interesting ideas. I'll leave my email address down below if any of you are interested in talking about this, and I'll also leave a link to a, a Zulip group that I'm using to kind of coordinate people who are interested in getting this type of AI surveillance kicked out of their city. So the project is gonna be something like, A, I need to find a good platform that is similar to Curate Solutions, and I'm willing to pay for this. I, like, if it's a few, like 10 or 30K a year or some shit like that, like, I mean, I, I'm open to paying for something that actually works rather than having to deal with like a bunch of half-ass working scrapers that only scrape like 5% of the America's population. Um, if there's something out there that, that genuinely works, like, my, I, I, like this is something I'll, I don't have a nonprofit put together for this particular cause yet, but it's something that I'm open to paying for out of pocket before any of that can get started. Uh, behind door number two, ideas on creating infrastructure. So again, I'm, I don't think this is gonna be a crazy complicated, said the non-programmer that couldn't even get past chapter one of Dennis Ritchie's programming language. I, I'm basically looking for a calendar. Uh, you put events on the calendar. The curator, that type of solution, there has to be some sort of bot that's gonna notify a moderator every time something gets flagged. Something cannot go on the calendar until a moderator approves it, reviews it, sees, yes, this is real, it gets on there. And then a way to keep track of a, literally, I, I just want a list of emails. I don't even want to know these people's name. I don't want their phone number. Just email for notifications. So something with SMTP relay, you know, some, some uh, postmark or mailgun or something then uh, that uses that stuff and blasts out an email on any uh, any time you have a uh, event that showed up that matches the zip code that they're stored with. So literally just email zip code. Uh, if you have any ideas on where to get started or thoughts or ideas, this is literally just brewing around in my head while I'm driving, but I think that this is really important because the, the number one thing that happens anytime I've discussed these cameras with people is I didn't know they were getting installed, I didn't know this was happening, I didn't know that was happening, and a lot of the times the people who are really, really in tune with this are professional lobbyists, the 0.1% of the community that are really in tune with and care about the community, and or, or the Karens that just, you know, like the, the people that make the world worse whose claim to fame in life is they know every fucking uh, procedure around their, how, how their city council and town hall meeting works. Like the hall monitors that nobody likes. And I, I, my idea is I don't want the people, I don't just want the hall monitors involved in local government. It would be nice to get a lot of everybody involved in local government. I was really inspired by that, that one woman, uh, Mrs. Kaylin Webb, the one that showed up in, a, in Vider, Texas, who said, yeah, I, I, I don't like getting ignored by my representatives. I've decided I'm going to run next time because I'm sick of this. And she, she just decided, I'm just gonna dive right in. This is my issue. I don't wanna spend sixty to $100,000 to get spied on every single time I drive by here. I think that's really cool. Uh, so awareness is really the, 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 the first one. And the idea of essentially around the country in over 18,000 cities, every single fucking time that thing shows up, being able to inform people, being able to announce it on YouTube, being able to actually visit and meet people and give them uh, testimony prep and kind of like a nice little, uh, you know, a nice little pep talk before they enter the building and maybe, you know, have a uh, have a dinner afterwards or something. It, like, make it into something fun. Kind of do what we were doing with Right to Repair back in 2014 when I would carry my shitty camera around to uh, all around the country with my, you know, like bad news bear set up and try to get people involved. I. I've, this, this is a side project. Like I have the repair nonprofit, which one of them is winding down. I have the the nonprofit for uh, reforming Section 12 of one of the DMCA that is going well. I've got a good executive director. We have a couple of really interesting policy people that applied. I'm liking the the I'm liking how, where things are going there. I'm liking the the track things are taking, and it's it's really starting to, to take shape. You know, Keith is the wiki manager. He's doing amazing. Shout out to the, everybody who's been involved and uh, I yeah but this is this is something that's taking more and more uh, of my interest I've always been a privacy advocate I don't like other people trying to watch and control me all the time it's it's, it's like the common thread between all this stuff is when a, you know, a bully tells me this is the way things are you got to deal with it that's it that's the way it is you're we're the only ones that can fix this you know shut up uncertified repairman what you don't like safety you want you must not like safety because you want people to be able to fix their stuff what, you, you don't want to be surveilled all the time, Lewis? You must not like safety. You don't want to spend $2 million to be watched every time you're in the park by Bonzi Buddy on a telephone pole? You must not like safety. And it just, it, it struck a nerve with me. And, it's, and the thing is, I think this is low-hanging fruit because it's something that virtually everybody can agree with. You know, one of the things I found interesting about the 
the video from Vida, Texas, is while literally while I was live streaming that woman talking about South America, Bolivia, and socialism, and this is a much more right wing part of Texas than where I live, much more. She was talking about how you don't want that here, like socialist governments and surveillance and spying on you, and all this stuff. And what I found interesting, she was a great woman. I, I we had a short conversation after. While she was saying all this, I think the Democratic Socialists of America were also hosting a webinar or an in-person event, I forget what, going over why these cameras suck, why they're horrible, why they don't want them here. Uh, point being, this is the most bipartisan issue that I could possibly fucking think of, and it sh it's popping up essentially everywhere, and it affects literally everybody, because if you leave your house, uh, then you're, you're likely being spied on by one of these cameras. So I th there's a unique opportunity to get uh, a lot of people involved and a lot of people doing something and to create a lot of change with a really small amount of effort. And I wanna start putting that effort forward. So if you can help by answering any of the questions that I had, suggesting um, su suggesting architecture types for this type of website and suggesting alternatives to that Curate Solutions company if you are, are familiar with any that are good. And again, like I like open source stuff, I like open solutions, I also like things that work and I'm willing to pay for it. it, it, it Again, these the, having like a couple of scrapers that scrape a couple of things, and like ha trying to manage a team of people, trying to manage software developers in general is just not something I feel like doing. And if there's a solution that just works, I'm willing to pay for it. And you know, I know that I know that this is a thing because I know that if you're Exxon or some AI company that wants to pollute and fuck up the water and all this other shit, or whatever, if you're a large company that's looking after building regulations in a town. I know that this has to exist. There has to be some sort of solution that people use to try and figure out when something is coming up in a town. This person really does not want to let me make a right, no matter how long I keep it. Okay, you know what? We're just going to play a game of chicken. There you go. If they have a nicer car than me, they'll eventually let me like make my turn. There's this thing in New York City that happens where when you turn on your turn signal, people realize you want to turn and they speed up. And it's very rare that that happens in Austin, but it does happen from time to time. And I don't like that because it kind of creates this culture where people don't use their turn signals. Because if I use my turn signal, now you know I'm going to turn, so you speed up. So I should just not use my turn signal. But then I'm being a piece of shit and making a worse world and I don't want to do that. So like, if I look behind me and it's a 1987 Toyota Corolla missing the front bumper, like, eh, whatever, fine. If I look behind me and it's a Mercedes S580, like, you know what, you're, you're, you're gonna let me in if I start going into the right lane. You care about your car more than I do. But back to this. There has to be something out there for people or in companies that wanna be able to immediately jump on any sort of local regulation if they think that it threatens their livelihood or their money or their ability to fuck somebody over. Somebody has to have made the solution. The only thing is that these solutions are usually, uh, they're not things that you're gonna find easily through Googling. They're things that you're gonna find if you're a specific lobbyist that's looking for a specific thing in a specific industry. But those tools that I believe somebody has to have made that have to exist are tools that most likely can be paid for by just about anybody who's willing to pay for it. I don't think that nonprofits or random people that hate surveillance like me are the average client of that type of business. But if those businesses are out there and they do accept the money of anybody who's willing to pay for their access to their service, then I'm open to paying for access to that service to get the ball rolling. I have absolutely jack shit idea uh, what kind of structure I'd want to make for this if I even want to make another organization for it. I think I'm up to like six now and there's just, yeah, this is, uh, I'm open to just paying for it out of pocket for the time being. So if anybody watching knows about any of that stuff, uh, do give me an email, Lewis. Uh, actually, use, use the YouTube at rossmangroup.com email. Uh, YouTube at rossmangroup.com spelled with two S's and two N's. If you don't know if you got it right, just on YouTube, there's usually like an about button or like about creator. You click that, there'll be like an email me button. And uh, I'm making this video while driving just because I have so much shit to do yesterday and today that if I wait till I'm sitting down, I'm probably just never gonna make the time for it. Hey, thank you very much for the help and uh, shut the fuck up, you stupid car, and I'll see you later.